Hey guys, welcome back. And today I have a haul, a quick small haul for you. I know I said in my 2017 favorites that I'm on a, on a no buy. So all this stuff was actually purchased last year. I just haven't had time to actually like sit down and film the haul with it. Some of the things I have used, some I have not. So let's go ahead and haul it so I can get to use it all these things all right so first up i want to share with my purchases that i got from the patrick star and mac collection so the first thing i got was one of the eyeshadow palettes and this is in the um goal getter shade and it has soft brown amber lights with chocolate and i'm into it so this is what the packaging looks like and i love patrick star so i'm so excited and these are what the colors look like these are some like staple cult favorite MAC colors I feel like and that's why I got this palette because it's kind of like an everyday type of palette for me and the second thing I got from the collection is the lip gloss and mama star looks like this I'll go ahead and do a quick swatch and I just love colors like these it's actually very close to the liquid lipstick I'm wearing right now so yes and then um at that time mac was having like a free gift and it came with this mac bat makeup bag which is like very thick and sturdy so i'm excited to have that for my makeup uh, uh, uh i'm trying to figure out like where to put the stuff that I have. next up is some stuff these are two color pop um brushes i got several things from color pop one of them is in my purse so i don't know um Okay, yes, so I got one of their Supernova shadows, and I got one in the, the shade Running in Orbit. Let's do a little swatch of this. I haven't used this yet, so I really need to. Ooh, that's pretty. So there it goes, right there. I don't know what I'm doing. Yes. Um, and then I got their Super Shock shadow, which I don't really purchase these, but this one in Ritz. Um, it was the collab with Laura Lee, and it's basically just glitter, which is like, you know, yeah, it's just glitter. Glitter, glitter, which I love. I feel like you could just tap, tap, tap this, and you don't have to worry about any fallout or anything, which is good. The next, I find, oh, I need to try this. I got their No Filter Concealer in Deep Golden 60. Is this one too dark for me? Yeah, this is way too dark for me. I'm pretty sure I got a lighter shade of this, and I don't know where it's at, though. So. Okay. <laughs> so I found the missing concealer. It was in my brushes. And okay, so this is the shade in Tan 50, which is my color, which is there. So yes, I am going to try this out. I have not, I think I'm going to try it once. I can't remember now. But yes. Um, and then I got two of their brushes, which I forgot about, and I need to try them. And these are in their E9 brush and their E10 brush. So yes, I'm always on the hunt for small crease brushes just because of hood eyelids, and it's very hard to like get colored. Like this is a little stiff though. It's a little too stiff. This crease brush it seems nice. But. So yes. Um, next up, we have some dose of colors. They came out with two new five pan palettes: the Sassy Sienna's and the Blushing Berries. I love their, um, I have the bron browns, bronze, the browns, um, palette. So this is what the Sassy CNS look like. Sorry, it's blinding you. I love this packaging. And then this is the Blushing Berries. And I have used both these palettes together, separate with other palettes. I love them both. These are all matte, so these are good companion palettes for anything shimmery and like I said I highly suggest them. I don't think you need all of them I'm just eyeshadow crazy so yes I had to have them next up is from Physicians Formulas Formula I got their healthy foundation in the shade DN4 dark neutral 4 this is way too I don't know if you could tell I mean you could tell that the foundation I'm wearing is way too dark for me right now um or yellow is it just too yellow for me I don't know um but yeah this is too dark for me but i don't know that the next like the lighter shade under this will do i don't know i have foundation mixer so i'm going to try mixing this with i feel like if i lighten this the undertone will be fine so i'm going to just try mixing this because i really don't want to try to get another shade of this because the shades with physician formulas we all know are very 
very limited so shocking that they even had a shade close enough for me to use in their foundation so yeah I can't I don't think I've tried this yet I've not tried it yet next up from physician formulas is there two I got both of their eyeshadow quads um, just because they just spoke to me and these are limited editions so I got the one in why are there smoky plums and classic nudes I have used smoky plums I love it I love these purples yes I love it um, and I haven't used this one the nudes one yet I need, I need to try this out so I'm just having difficulties today so yes that is what that looks like and Again, both from Physician Formula, these are limited editions, so I don't know if they're still available. Um, oh, a couple of the last items are from Maybelline, and this is the Master Chrome Highlight in Molten Rose Gold. So I love the gold one, so I decided to get this one, and it's just as good, but if you could see on my pan, I don't know if you can really tell that I dug my finger in when I tried opening it so that sucks but it's still a nice highlight I love it highly recommend either that one or the gold one then I got the Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder in medium deep it's what I'm wearing on my face today I don't know why it looks so yellow I'm like feeling very yellow right now I don't know why um but anyways I got this powder because so many people have put it in their 2017 favorites so I was like I gotta try it I it, it's worth the hype get you some get you some and then the last thing is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage, um, what is this, 20, up to 24 hours foundation. And I have the shade 334 Warm Sun, which I think is just too yellow for me, honestly. I think that's what it is right now. Like, it's just way too yellow for me. Um, probably works would, for, would work for me in the summertime, but not right now when it's winter. Um, yeah, so I've been testing this out. It was what I'm wearing today, and I really like the finish of it, but I don't know about the wear time on it because I haven't really tested it out that long. The last thing I got is from Shop Miss A, where everything's like a dollar, and I got their Cool Tone Blush Palette because I'm trying to be more into blushes and wear blushes more. I also got some of their bath bombs, which I absolutely love. I think they're like $2.50 each. They're just awesome. Um, and yeah, so that is my haul. Like I said, I'm trying... I hate when I say I'm trying because that means I'm really not going to do it. I am going to be on a no-buy at this point just because I'm trying to really stick to my budget this year. I will make a whole video about budgeting. My goals for 2018 coming soon. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm trying not to buy any makeup. But then they just really said Tarte Shape Tape has come out with the foundation. So we will see about that. I don't think I'm going to buy it, honestly, because I, I'll get a sample of it, honestly, but... I don't know if I'm going to buy it because it's 40 bucks and I'm not about that life when it comes to foundation. Like, I stick to my drugstore stuff, you know? You know? Um, yeah, so if you have any questions about the stuff in my haul, I will leave a list of it down below. Just let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye.